with a C from Tangwood. I think I was just calling to uh, I know you got in a wreck and, and everything on a yeah. street bike. Do you th ever think that you would like ride a stunt bike or anything like that or a dirt bike out at the lake again after you got in your wreck? That's all I really wanted to know. So thank you very much. Well, you're welcome very much, Mark with a C. This is Mark with a K. No, that, to answer your question, not a dirt bike. This wasn't a dirt bike and this wasn't a stunt bike. This was a moped with an attitude. And let me just say, if I loved them, I would ride them again. But I never even loved it. You know, I'm not saying don't live life just because you have a wreck. Don't do what you love to do just because you broke your leg. You know, that's why people who do love riding bikes get back on them. And I say more power to you. I won't. Hello, Mark. This is John Mark. I was wondering if you think it'd be a good idea if you had kids to put them in homeschool or not. Well, um, I've never really thought much about that because I don't have kids. But I don't think I would have wanted to be homeschooled. I think it was tough enough being in a Christian school where you're only surrounded by people who think, talk, walk, breathe like you do. Uh, you don't ever get challenged until you get out in the world, and then maybe you're not really, really prepared. At least if you go to a real school, when I say real school, I mean like a public school. I don't mean... Please don't take offense by that if you're homeschooled but or went to a Christian school because I think I went to a real school, but a public school. You are, have a better chance of finding out what the questions are and then coming home to your mom and dad and asking them to help you work through it or uh, someone in your church. But if you're only surrounded by people who never challenge you, never question your faith or, or uh, give you anything else to think about, or wrestle with, then when you're out in the world, you don't have your mom and dad there except by phone, and hopefully you're ready for that. Um, so my question is, for me, no. I would prefer not to have gone to a Christian school and not gone to a home school because I think that I would have wrestled with things a lot sooner and be further down the road had I not. But that's just me. Hey, Mark, this is Laura from Millbrook, Alabama. I just love your show. I watch, watch it all the time. I was wondering if you can have your friend Russ Taft come back on your show. I just love you. He was on show number five. And I love your show. Thank you. Well, thank you, Lila. Did you say your name was? I love your accent. It's even stronger than mine. I'd love to have Russ Taft back on the show. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, but I haven't been on the road with the Gaithers either in a while. I will be on the road with them this Christmas for the Christmas tour. You can check out MarkLowry.com and see if we're coming anywhere near y'all. But Russ Taft, I love him. He is one of the most open, uh, broken Christians I know. He's broken and he doesn't mind telling you. And it's really cool to watch. He just throws his coat open and shows all his scars. I think he's a pretty incredible man, and he's got a great wife, great kids. So I'd love to have him back on here. And thank you for watching the earlier shows. Hey, Mark, this is Jared. I was wondering if you've written any new songs lately. Uh, yeah, actually, I have, Jared. Thanks for asking. Uh, they're not finished, and they may never be finished, but I had started on some. But I don't ever get in a hurry to finish them because it takes too much work, and I can only work in increments. So I get back to them, work on them, then leave and come back. And It's not like in the old days where I wrote them faster. Uh, now I have to wrestle with them a lot more. But uh, I might get back to them and I might not. But yeah, I've started some. Thanks for asking. Hi, Mark. My name's Garrett. I was wondering, like, I'm here at university, first, I'm a freshman, um, and I'm having doubts about whether or not what I'm, what I'm doing here is the right thing. As of late, I've started to feel strongly called to do something else, to go to a different university and study a different program. I wanted to know what your opinion is on someone, someone feeling called to do something, but, but of course, like feeling 
feeling also feeling doubt that what they're what they're leaving might be where they're still supposed to be. Well, that's a good question. Uh, that's a very good question. I think I think doubts are part of the human experience, and I think you should embrace them. But I also think you need to learn to listen to your gut, listen to the spirit that speaks to you, the spirit of God. Because Jesus said, when I go away, I'm going to leave my spirit, and my spirit will lead you into all truth. So go with your gut is uh, one thing I would suggest. Because uh, the calling to do something, you didn't specify what it was, but whatever that is, evidently this other university might be able to prepare you for that better. I don't know. Uh, you got to figure that out. But don't worry about doubts. Thank God for the doubts. You know, Doubting Thomas got a bad rap because he missed church on Sunday. You know, everybody else saw Jesus, and he said, unless I see him, I won't believe. And, of course, he got the opportunity to see him. We, of course, don't get to see like that. We get to walk by faith and believe. And a lot of that walking by faith is dependent upon listening to the Spirit of God speak to your heart. Because you are one of a kind. Everybody can tell you how you're supposed to hoe your row. We've all, got a, we've all got a row to hoe. And, you know, Jesus said, hey, if I tell this person he's going to stay here till I come back and I tell you to do this, don't worry about what I tell them to do. You do what I tell you to do. And only you can know what he is telling you to do. I can give you my opinion, but I may be giving you my opinion from the row that I have been called to hoe. And... Therefore, all of those opinions and objectives are formulated from what I know. God may be teaching you something different. So everybody, there is safety in the midst of counselors and wisdom, but you are going to stand before God all alone. You're not going to be able to call me or anybody else over and say, Mark, tell God uh, why I did what I did. You know, I listened to your podcast, and... Uh, I did everything you said to do, and now here I am in trouble. Well, you know what? I don't have scars in my hands. See, if you fall in love with the conduit and you miss the water, you have missed the point. Why did I get off on that? So anyway, I said all that to say this. Only you know.